I am now 72 hours post first microneedling appointment and I wanted to update you on the status of the recovery. So I've officially passed the recovery phase of the first treatment, which is three days, where you have to avoid any um, aggressive rubbing or scrubbing on the skin to keep the skin barrier intact, as well as um, avoiding sun exposure of any kind and avoiding any hot showers that could make your skin flush after the treatment. I saw a remarkable change in my skin yesterday on Sunday and I did not video Sunday at all. I wish I had taken some photos even in, from the morning until the evening because it was such a big difference. The areas on my face that have been impacted in particular by the treatment wand have diminished in color from red to more of a brown color and um, maybe not quite as much on my nose. My nose look a little more purple like a bruise, but the ones on my cheeks in particular are more uh, brown and around this area are much more brown. So they look more like freckles instead of like big inflamed areas that have been treated on my skin, considerably less noticeable. I had intended to show you some photos with makeup um, because I was supposed to be on a flight to Maryland today and I have had multiple airline cancellations. So I decided not to put on any makeup and just give my face one more day of um, not wearing anything just to allow it to continue to heal. One question I have for my esthetician that I'm going to ask is I have a lot of these brown spots. They really look like freckles on this camera. They were not there to begin with. So my question for her is, are these um, treatment areas that are healing or is this sub sun damage from previous years that has been pulled to the surface as a result of this treatment? I know that's possible that it could happen. I guess I just didn't expect it quite this way. It'll be interesting to see over the next week whether those diminish right away. Um, that would maybe lend that it's from the wand itself or whether they stay until I have further treatments to remove or those discolorations. I'm looking forward to that. I am now a religious SPF user and hope to prevent that sort of damage in the future as opposed to when I was younger I didn't pay that much attention. Also I wanted to take this video in natural light because you can see a little bit more of the texture that I'm referring to especially on my forehead that I'm trying to resolve with these treatments. Um, there's just a lot of closed comedones or, you know, just rough bumps under my skin. They've been there a very long time. Um, even with the treatments that I use with BHAs and azelaic acid, while they shrink, they just haven't seemed to disappear. This is supposed to resolve a lot of that. Um, as well as on my chin. Um, so I'm hoping that that can clear up. I will say that there has been a lot of those closed comedones that have come to the surface in just 48 hours. Um, and they're just, you know, as I went rinse them, they just go away. So I'm super excited. I did not expect that sort of impact in such a short amount of time. Speaking of, I did look up when to expect the fullest, uh, treatment benefit and it takes about 28 days for skin cells to turn over so um i that's probably the reason why you have to have the treatments the first three treatments um, a month apart and so i will video again when i put on some makeup so you can see what it looks like with makeup on and then also um, in a month so right before my second treatment so you can see what the most impact or, or what the improvements have been in that first treatment. I also know that you're supposed to set up time to um, have maintenance once a year and I need to follow up whether that maintenance is just one treatment once a year or the, the three treatments of so the series of treatments once a year um, because that could be a time consuming and big commitment financially and with your time so recovery time can you know 
it's kind of tough to be out in public when your face looks like this. I was in public for briefly on Saturday when I was picking up some dog food and I did get some weird stares, um, probably because people thought I was beat up because um, it has a real purpley bruised look that doesn't quite come through on the camera. So that is post 72 hours and I should talk to you in a couple days.